Hello YouTubers, um, just thought you, I'd show you something that I've bought. Uh, as you know, I've been using a, quite a lot of this Mine Labby track lately. I've had it for quite a while, but um just been putting a few things on it really to make it better. There's a sheep coming along to see that. <laughs> because I'm a, quite a lanky uh, lad, I was having trouble with the, having that extension out too far and then making it wobbly so um, I went on eBay and you can buy a extra long extension that bit for the detector and it's it's just right you've got an extra two inches I think it is or three inches on the extension and it doesn't wobble so much then so if you're six foot like me it makes a little difference but um, this is another thing I've had these grey ghost uh, metal detecting ear, ear muffs for ages now and they're bloody brilliant they have a separate volume up and down on each side and also a switch to switch them off when you're pinpointing or something you know so you can flick that switch and it'll, it'll all go quiet but the reason I'm showing you this one is these devices I bought, I splashed out on a set of these for wireless operation. Now, these are from Detechnix, and this, the ones I bought, has been a bit different from the rest of them I've seen on the internet. The other ones, you buy that device, and then you buy a small little set of earphones that charge up, and this device goes straight to their little earphones. But I was a bit reluctant to do that, because I like these earphones. And they cost me a few quid, and I want to. I use them. These are most of my detectors, so um, I noticed you can buy them with a jack on them. So you can. I can't actually pull it out now, but there's a jack the same as goes in. See? So your normal headphones, the ones which you use, can go into that. So you just put that in your pocket, and then you can continue to use these earphones. But also, another reason why I got this, not only because of that, I thought, if these batteries run down, one of them batteries run down and you've got your, your, your earphones and they won't work, you're screwed, aren't you? So I thought with these, when you've got these, this sort of setup, if the battery in this or that runs down, you can just pull this jack out and put it straight in the metal detector and carry on using it. So, um... I haven't actually tried them yet. This is the first time I took them out of the box last night and they've been charging all night. And I'm going to fire them up now and see if it's any good. Well guys, I've just tried these things out and they're excellent. The actual <laughs> nicety of being able to put this Thing down and walk away from it is bloody unbelievable. You don't realise how restricted you were before. I'm actually bowled away by how good of sound it is, really. Like I said, I got my the earphones I actually like using, these Grey Ghost earphones, they're crackers. And this little device here is in my pocket. I haven't had much what's called in it, but it's got a plus and minus there, so I assume you can put the volume up and down. I don't know. But all I did was switch that on till that little blue light was flashing. And switch this on till that orange light was flat. I was just going like that. And that's it. I just switched it on, switched that, and it's been perfect. Really good. Um, loud signal, just exactly the same as a metal detector. So, very chuffed. I've and of course, you can use any headphones of these, then, if you want to. You can use anything, or you can use these little devices, the same ones, to attach to any of your other gadgets as well. You can stick that into the iPad for example and use this on your earphones or on your television or whatever but um, these are just for metal detecting really a brilliant idea 
just took that in my top pocket. And there we are. Ten foot away. Pick that back up. Switch the switch back on to my earphones. I'm afraid I can't show you, do the sound for you to show. Unless you can perhaps hear this. Try it, perhaps you can hear this, I don't know. There's no delay. And the beauty of using these grey ghosts is that you can flick the switch and turn the sound off in your head for when you're pinpointing and things. Like I said, I've had them for ages now. I use them on my Sovereign. Um, I've yet to do a whole day's metal detecting with them or anything. This is only... You've seen it. This is the first hour I've stuck them on the metal detector, but... Doesn't seem to be any lag whatsoever. And would I recommend these things? Yes, I would so far, but I haven't done a good long term test, so I don't know how long the battery will last. But thumbs up from me. If they give you a hands free detector for. 70 quid I think it was 75 give or take 5 quid I'm not sure how it was either 70 or 75 like I said the ability to just do that eh? and I can still hear the tone in my ears I wonder how far away I can walk I still got the tone in my ears Still now as well. Oh Christ! <laughs> There's a hell of a what do you call it? A brilliant things. Uh, also, I was going to say, I have actually been doing a little bit of metal detecting on the farm, first time ever, and to thank for that is Magpie. I. You'll see him commented on some of my vids sometimes. He's uh, well worth watching because he's a chap that you see in Utah. But I'm not sure if this Magpie and there's a couple of numbers after him. You'll see him, he might comment on this video. And it really is real life metal detecting like a normal person when they go out. Sometimes you find something, sometimes you don't. But he's just got that nice way about it to how the sport is uh, or hobby. It's just relaxing and there's no point going too daft about it. So um, that's why I like watching his channel. So if you have a bit of a chance, you have a look at Magpie.